Let's take you back now to our top story this morning. It's about the body of a fourth child who's been recovered alongside the N2 highway in Cape Town. As reported, emergency services got a call about miners who had fallen into a hole near the Borges Quarry. That's on Monday. Three bodies were retrieved last night and the fourth of this morning. To tell us more, we're joined now by Jermaine Karolse. He's with the City of Cape Town's Fire and Rescue Services. Jermaine, good morning. Thank you very much for your time. I guess it's a kind of a bittersweet moment when you've been looking for a missing child and you, you find the body 24 hours uh, later. Uh, good morning to you and your listeners. Yes, um, this is a very unfortunate incident that occurred um, pertaining to the four boys that uh, obviously lost their lives. Yeah. And um, I can tell the, the listeners, obviously, that this was um, just uh, near to the embankment of the in to incoming um, on the Porto Square uh, intersection. So it seems that the children were playing inside that hole, and the roof of the of the hole collapsed the sand onto them. Initial reports um, were found that there were only three boys. But on during the, during the recovery process, uh, one of the family members of the fourth, fourth child that I've done seen and they stated that their boy was normally playing with the other three. So after the third body was and we covered at 9 o'clock with, with the EMS guys, ourselves uh, and Metro, we, we carried on with the search and around about um, 21 minutes after 2 this morning, um, the body of the fourth child was recovered. Now the area where the children fell into the hole, is it a, a, an area where usually children uh, would, would play? Is there supervision in that area from what you know, how this was possible to have taken place? Um, no, no, not actually. That isn't the place where children normally play. It's on the intersection of Porter Square and the into. So it's just alongside the into the, the main highway. It's an emb emb the embankment that, that, that comes along uh, alongside the barrier. So it's about uh, 1.4 meters from the barrier where this hole was created. Is it clear what might have happened in this case? What might have led these children to find themselves in that intersection? Um, it could be that the children were just playing on that side and obviously saw that, um, saw that the hole, and then obviously they went inside. So the roof obviously collapsed. On the, the roof, the sand roof obviously collapsed on them, hence they were trapped inside. Yeah. Now, any, any news or do you have any idea what the families um, of these children are? Which part of Cape Town were they, were they living? Any younger? Yes, all, all this, uh, the families lived in that vicinity in the, in the younger area. Now, with the, with the discovery uh, after having worked through the night of the fourth body, what will be the next steps now from what you know in this process? Um, the end to us closed, I don't know if you uh, had to report that the end to us closed this morning um, as from the R300 intersection um, direction Cape Town up until Porter's Quarry um, due to the fact that um, the teams are closing up that hole so that no further incident that, like that would occur. So that whole area has now been closed off to, to prevent any, 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 any possible similar incidents? Yes, that's, um, that's the latest communication that um, was forwarded to me that the is the, the into was closed. It was a bit difficult for the people this morning, especially it's in peak traffic, and all the traffic had to be rerouted onto different routes. Yeah, well, what would your appeal be as a fire and rescue services at this stage to the communities who live near such uh, 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 holes or embankment, embankments? Um, I would tell the community that they must always be vigilant and know at all times where the children are and obviously make them aware of certain dangers, especially playing in, in, in similar situations like that. And always that there should be adult supervision at all times. Yeah, now the families of these four children, have they all been notified from what you know? Um, I know of the one family um, of the fourth child that was notified that came to the scene. So I suspect that uh, South African Police Service has been in contact with uh, the remainder of the other three families. Jermaine, thank you very much uh, for the update. Uh, Jermaine talking to us there from the Cape Town's Fire and Rescue Services.